We're now one step closer to liberating our citizens from this Obamacare nightmare. President Trump in Youngstown tonight praising Senate Republicans for voting to consider a full repeal of the Affordable Care Act. Good evening, I'm Ken Rice. Susan has the evening off. Trump's speech in our region comes just weeks after a Republican plan failed to get enough votes and health care wasn't the president's only focus tonight. Ralph Iannotti is live with more on what he had to say. Ralph. Yeah, thanks very much, Ken. The president was in full campaign mode here tonight. He told a crowd of about 6,000 supporters here at this convention hall behind me that he's keeping his promises and making America number one once again. One by one, we're finding the illegal gang members, drug dealers, thieves, robbers, criminals, and killers. And we're sending them the hell back home where they came from. Before an enthusiastic crowd of several thousand, Donald Trump returned to Youngstown, Ohio for the first time as president. He was here twice last year as a candidate. And he returned to familiar themes, including illegal immigration. The Covelli Center audience roared with approval as the president touted his efforts to not only make America great again, but to make America safe again. And once they are gone, we will never let them back in, believe me. And that is why my administration is launching a nationwide crackdown on sanctuary cities. Early on in the hour-long speech, the president said he wanted to cut through the fake news filter. He said he was far away from the Washington swamp now. He applauded the vote in the U.S. Senate hours earlier, which will allow for debate to begin on bills to repeal major portions of the Affordable Care Act, which he called a disaster. Finally. You think that's easy? That's not easy. We're now one step closer to liberating our citizens from this Obamacare nightmare. A protester holding what looked like a pillowcase saying Trump and Pence must go was about 20 yards from the president. He was tackled by Trump supporters and then removed by police. Where the hell did he come from? A second protester was removed from the audience a little later. After the speech was over, a Franklin Park couple who came to Youngstown with their nephew gave the president high marks. He's the flawed president. He's not perfect, but he's our president, and he stands for everything we stand for. And so we loved it. Ever, Mr. Trump has said, everything that he's going to change, I want to see the change. Now, over and over again here tonight, we heard uh, chants of uh, build the wall, USA, and fake news. And I think you could tell uh, from the president's body language uh, before this huge crowd tonight that he really relishes campaign style appearances like this one here this evening. We're live in Youngstown tonight. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA TV News.